You may be surprised to hear what I'm going to say in this video. Not all actuarial positions are in high demand. So in this video, you're going to learn why that is and what you can do in order to become in demand in the actuarial field. By the way, I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator Community, where we train future actuaries how to become top candidates so they can get their actuarial dream job as quickly as possible. So let's get into this video. Three, two, one. Go. Okay, so when I think about whether a career is in high demand or not, really what I'm considering is the number of opportunities relative to the number of people that want to get into the field. When I think of high demand positions, basically I'm thinking there are lots of positions available, there are new ones being created all the time, and there aren't really a lot of candidates to fill those positions. So the number of positions available is way more than the number of people that are wanting to get into those positions. And that's what a high demand career is. And we call it high demand because those employers that want to hire there are just so many positions available that it can be fairly hard to find candidates that are good fits for those positions so they tend to not be able to be very picky about who they hire a low demand career on the other hand would be one where there are tons and tons of candidates that want to get into just a few positions that are available in those situations the employer can be more picky about who they hire because they have lots to choose from okay so now let's talk about the actuarial field our actuaries in high demand well first let's talk about fully qualified actuaries and by the way everything I say in this video is my own personal experience and what I know it's also really referring specifically to Canada and the US I'm not very familiar with the actuarial field outside of those two countries okay so let's talk about fully qualified actuaries first when I say fully qualified what I mean is someone that has passed all their actuarial exams and met all the other requirements needed in order to become a fellow of the Society of Actuaries, a fellow of the Canadian Institute of Actuaries, or a fellow of the Casualty Actuarial Society. And if you're not very familiar with what those actuarial organizations are, I highly encourage you to go check out this video where I explain the difference between them. Okay, so basically this is someone that is fully qualified and these types of people tend to have lots of experience in previous positions. They have built up intuition. They are fully qualified. So they tend to be able to get jobs fairly easily because that is what a lot of actuaries employers are looking for when they post a job for someone of that level. They want someone that has all those high level qualifications. So for fully qualified actuarial positions, I would say there it's kind of neutral in terms of demand. There doesn't tend to be a whole bunch of new positions opening all the time. The number of candidates available for the positions tends to stay relatively the same. So what that really means is that there's kind of just a rotation going on. If one position opens up and an actuary, a fully qualified actuary, where he takes that position, they're going to leave an empty position available at their previous role, and then someone's going to come and fill that one, and then their position needs to be filled. So it's really just this rotation between different actuarial positions. So it doesn't tend to be that there's a low or high demand for one or the other. There's just kind of the perfect number of fully qualified actuaries for the number of actuarial positions that are available. When you get to this level of actuary, you're fully qualified, you've gained all that experience, you have great intuition, you have great technical skills, all that sort of stuff, you really are in demand and that's what companies are looking for. So if you've ever heard the stat that there's 0% unemployment in the actuarial field, this is where it's coming from. They're really referring to fully qualified actuaries because they've built up such an amazing skill set that they are highly employable and there are positions available for them. Okay, so now let's move on to the other kind of actuary, the entry level actuary. And for those of you just getting into the career, this is probably where you're going to start. An entry level actuary is someone that typically is just getting into the field. They don't have all their actuarial exams passed and they're typically doing a lot of very technical work, very in the weeds, trying to figure out where the problems are and fixing them in the methods that the company is using to do their actuarial calculations. So this is different than a fully qualified actuary because typically the fully qualified actuary has already done that stuff and they have progressed up to a level where they're probably managing those entry-level actuaries. They're helping to guide them and support 
support them. They're reviewing their work. The fully qualified actuary is also more involved in the strategical plan of the business. They're setting goals for their team, all that sort of stuff. It's much higher level when you're working in a fully qualified actuarial position. So when it comes to entry level, this is where people just get into the actuarial field, hence entry level. And these positions, I would actually say, are in low demand. I say this because there tends to be many more actuarial candidates wanting to get into these entry level positions than there are positions available. So it kind of creates this inequality where there are way more people wanting to get in than there are positions available. However, don't let this concern you if you are someone that wants to get into the actuarial field. So many times on this channel, I have talked about becoming a top actuarial candidate. And basically this is someone that has passed some exams, someone that has great technical skills, communication skills, someone that has some related experience, that bachelor's degree. There is so much that you can do in order to become a top actuarial candidate. Now, when you do become a top actuarial candidate, you make yourself stand out from the competition. You make yourself in high demand because imagine this, if there is just one position available and there are 10 candidates that want to get that position, well, if you are a top candidate, meaning you are one of the best of those 10 candidates, then you have a very high chance of getting that one position available. So although the entry level field for actuarial positions may be fairly low demand, you can make yourself in high demand and it doesn't take long either. I actually have this video right here about how you can do that in about eight months to one year or so. It does not take long to become a great candidate. It's really just about making sure that you know all the pieces and you have a very strategical order to gain those certain qualifications in so that you can stand out. Now, once you get into an actuarial role and you've gained that one to two years of experience, you have done wonders for yourself because it's much, much, much easier to move into other actuarial roles once you just have some actuarial experience. It's gonna make a huge difference for you in your career. Okay, so overall, are actuaries in demand? I would say that the answer is they are not in high demand right now. That could change for sure in the future, but you have 100% ability to make yourself in high demand so that you can get one of those actuarial positions, even though there is a lot of competition out there for those entry level positions right now. So next up, if you are someone that wants to get into the actuarial field, make sure you go watch this video that I mentioned earlier. I will link it down below in the description so you can learn how to make yourself stand out in the entry level actuarial market. If you use this method that I suggest, I am so, so, so confident. I would actually say 100% confident, but I'll change it to 99.9% .9 confident that you will be able to get an actuarial job, even though the demand right now is on the lower side for entry level actuarial positions. Okay, that is all for this week. I will see you in two weeks from now. Bye.